Hey everyone, welcome to CloudChamp. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use EC2 user data script to install Apache Web Server on our Ubuntu instance. So I'm going to show you everything from the scratch. So watch this video till the end. Before we start, let's see what is user data script. So EC2 user data is used to bootstrap our instance. By bootstrapping means launching the command when the machine starts. And we can use user data script to install updates, up install softwares, download common files, and anything that you can think of. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use user data to install Apache Web Server or to install LAMP stack on our EC2 instance. So let's start. So I'm here on my AWS management console and I'm going to go to EC2 service. In the EC2, I'm going to click on launch instance. So let's go and launch our instance. So server one, I'm going to choose Ubuntu. You can choose uh, Ubuntu any version or you can also choose Amazon Linux, but the command will be different. So just be sure. Then I'm going to select my key pair. I'm going to choose my default security security group, but you can choose to have your own existing security group. Make sure you have HTTP enabled if you are going to use web server. Next, to add user data, I want to go into advanced details and at the bottom, you can find user data option here. So in this, let's start writing a script. To write a bash script, you need to add shebang at the start, which is hash and exclamation mark slash bin slash bash and after this you can start writing your uh, commands so i'm going to write apt hyphen get you can see i'm not using sudo here because when this user data run it depends on root privileges so you can choose to add sudo or you can also uh, skip it so i'm going to add apt hyphen get update hyphen y to update all the packages then apt hyphen get install apache 2 hyphen web so using these two commands, I can have an Apache installed on my machine and I, if I paste my IP address in a new tab, I will get a test page something similar to this, which means Apache is installed. But if you want to have a custom message, which is something similar to this, you can choose to make settings in this file, which is slash var slash www slash html. To showcase that, let's add a command to add a custom message. So I'm going to do echo, subscribe to cloud chat. Please. And I'm going to put this in slash for slash www slash html and the name of the file which is index.html. So next we need to start this service. I'm going to do systemctl start apache2. So if you see at this command, this is to install, this is to update all the packages, to install Apache web server, to put the custom message in the index.html and to start the service. So once this instance is launched, we should see this message once we can paste the IP address in the new tab. So I'm going to go and click on launch instance and let's wait for the instance to come up in running state and then we can test it out by pasting the IP in a new tab. Right now, if you see the instance is in pending state. So I'm we're going to wait till the instance come up in running state with status checks running as well. All right, so if you see if you see now our instance is in running state, so I'm going to copy this public IP address and paste it in a new tab. Once I paste it, I should see the message, which is subscribe to CloudChamp, which means our Apache web server has been installed. And we also entered the message in the index.html file. That is why we can see it here. So I hope you have now understood how to set up Apache web server using EC2 user data. If you have any questions, you can let me know in the comment section. Let's say you want to make a change in the user data. So if you want to make a change in the user data, you can make a change by going in actions in instance settings and click on edit user data. But for you to do this, you need to have the instance in stop state. So you can see it says to edit your user data, you can you need to stop your instance. So once you stop it, you can choose to edit the user data, add any commands or remove any commands and then start the instance again. So this is how you, do, how you can install Apache Web Server on Ubuntu instance, if you want to do these steps on Amazon Linux, you can follow the documentation by AWS. So I'm going to share the link. So here is the documentation by AWS to run commands on Linux instance using user data. You can find a script here, which is to install LAMP, a Linux, Apache web server, MySQL, MariaDB, PHP my admin. So I'm going to paste the link in below. And I hope this was informative. If you found this video really helpful and please subscribe to CloudChamp. Your support means a lot, so please subscribe and share this video. Thank you and have a good day.